my name is Bob Boyce. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm church education retired. And I was prompted to write down the experiences, that, personal experiences, that I've been sharing with my classes over the years pertaining to gospel principles and their application. I realized soon that a lot of them had to do with my mission. I did not realize that I was writing a book at the time and somebody helped me after a few chapters uh, or exper um, uh, experiences that that's exactly what I was doing. Um, there is a statement on the handout that illustrates what this book is all about. This is from General Conference and uh, it is one of many between the years of 2005 and 2008 that were made. And it goes like this. For me, everything changed. The fog of doubt and uncertainty really did lift, and happiness and joy came into my life. In one way or another, every good thing that has happened to me since that day has come because of the commitment made to serve the Lord and His children and give two years of my life in His service. What I realized that was happening, that, uh, that this was the what of what happens to a missionary. And I was writing the why and the how that happens. Now, Harold B. Lee said something like this back in the day. Every, excuse me, he said, the greatest battles that are ever fought are within the walls of our own soul. And I came to realize that that's exactly what I was doing, is writing about my personal battles, my imperfections and shortcomings that I was called upon to face and overcome as a missionary. And so that's the, the rest of the handout right here, are some of those personal battles that I experienced. For example, that one on arrogance. Uh, I didn't realize that I had that problem, but I did. Um, and as I came face to face with it and asked for, uh, repented and asked for forgiveness, that's exactly what came. I, I felt that personal love of the Savior in spite of my imperfections and the forgiveness if I would uh, commit to overcome that, that, that arrogance. That one on inadequacy that is there. Um, I was called upon to uh, visit with a branch president that had not shown up to church for three weeks from running. And uh, realizing that even though a 20-year-old couldn't do something like that, there were angels uh, roundabout that helped uh, that to happen. Uh, the, uh, the reaction of readers has been very fulfilling to me. Everything from uh, dry wit to a master of understatement to uh, help me remember my journey toward becoming like Christ, to this is much more than a uh, mission memoir. It, is, it captures the essence of the LDS mission experience.